tragic Demons appear like magic Money long so elastic Foreign fabrics to fashion I'm itching for money cash I had it Shit get on my pockets like time When I get on my beat it's Jurassic Little niggas don't want static Wait, 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 wait Become like tsunami and drown you with the trip What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So earlier in the season I made this video about Josh Jackson and how well he had been playing. I dropped that video on the day of one of the Pistons games and it just so happened to be the same day that Josh Jackson went out and rolled his ankle and went on to miss a few games. And to the request of many Pistons fans I decided not to drop this video on game day but to wait for an off day just so I can't curse Josh Jackson or any other Piston player for that matter with my video. So you're welcome Pistons fans for delaying my video like three or four days because the Pistons would play one day then I had to update the stats the next day then I had to go to work then the Pistons would play again I can't drop it on that day then I had to update the stats again so it was just like this endless cycle of just pushing back this video day after day after day but now we are finally here so back to the topic of this video which is Josh Jackson after the day I dropped that video and Josh sprained his ankle he would go on to miss two games for the Pistons and then return to the lineup but he just wasn't really the same player his shooting splits over the next 11 games took a traumatic hit shooting 32% from the field 25% from deep and 61% from the free throw line in these 11 games he would go on to only average 2.4 free throw attempts per game something that you guys need to keep in the back of your head as you guys watch this video he would also be taken out the starting lineup relegated back to his bench role and he just didn't look as promising as he was earlier in the season it was quite obvious that the angle injury that hampered jackson and made him miss two games was really hurting him on the court he wasn't able to get to the rim like he was he wasn't trying to get to the rim as much as he usually was and it was really impacting his game josh was eventually going to get back to 100 percent and it seems like he has done that over the last 14 games for the pistons over the last 14 games josh is averaging 17 points a game six rebounds the game and two assists a game however there are some statistics that i really want to harp on and bring to you guys's attention and i'm going to use some clips to back up the stats that i'm bringing up to you guys as well as i mentioned earlier in the video josh was only averaging 2.4 free throw attempts per game during the stretch after his injury a clear sign that he just wasn't getting to the rim like he used to which is the biggest strength of his game over the last 14 games it's very clear as you'll see in the clips below me that he's getting to the rim and being more aggressive getting to the rim because he feels more healthy but a stat that can point this out and suggest that this was happening is the fact that he's now up to 4.9 free throw attempts a game over the last 14 games compared to where he was at during that brief 11 game stretch at 2.4 attempts a game when josh is at full strength he's just a tremendous athlete a tremendous finisher and he's shown in these clips and if you just watch the pistons throughout the season that when he is at full strength there's not many people that can stop him from getting to the rim when he wants to get there i mentioned during that 11 game stretch that he was shooting 32 percent from the field during these last 14 games he's shooting 45 percent from the field and that has everything to do with the fact that he's able to get to the rim again he's able to finish through and above contact and most importantly that he's back to 100% health wise over these last 14 games Josh hasn't been a killer getting to the rim just in the half court but also in transition as you'll see in the clips below me I think the key thing to point out with Josh over these last 14 games is just how extremely aggressive he has been whether it's on defense whether it's in the half court offense or whether it's in transition he's constantly going 100% constantly going at your throat and that's when Josh is at his best and like I said earlier in the video the easiest way to point this out is the fact he's averaging 4.9 free throw attempts over the last 14 games when josh is 100 health wise he's going at you and he's being ultra aggressive there's no way of stopping him to get into the rim without either following him or giving him a free layup or dunk it's just it's one of the two you pick your poison there's one more thing i want to point out over josh's last 14 games that contributes to why he's been playing really well but really it seriously all just boils down to the fact that he's just been absurdly aggressive and it's all just when you're aggressive in basketball and you're non-stop going 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 you're going to have good things happen to you and that's what's happening to josh but yeah the last thing i want to point out about josh's game is the fact he's averaging 6.3 rebounds over the last 14 games but if you go even deeper than that 1.8 of those rebounds are offensive rebounds a game and over his last six games it's at 2.7 offensive rebounds a game it seriously just goes back to the fact of how aggressive josh really is and it shows that if you play aggressive in the game of basketball it will reward you like he doesn't give up on any plays as you guys see in these clips below when he misses a shot he's following that shot he's going to get that extra opportunity and he usually either draws a foul in the come up or he finishes through the second time like he had a game against the Orlando Magic a few games ago when he shot 7 of 23 but like he had four offensive rebounds and those were all coming off of misses so he would miss one grab it put it back up miss one grab it put it back up and one so he's just extremely aggressive and that's another reason why he's having such a good play over the last 14 games and lastly I want to look at this clip in particular to show that him being aggressive on the offensive glass and him just being aggressive in general doesn't just help him out but it creates opportunities for his teammates as you can see in this clip Fee's going to shoot this shot from beyond the arc and he's going to miss below the rim you're going to see Josh 
Josh Jackson and Isaiah Stewart. This ball is going to come towards Josh Jackson. Now, he could just bail out and get back on defense, but because he's so aggressive, he continues to fight for this offensive rebound. While he doesn't come up with this offensive rebound and get a second chance point for himself, this directly results in an easy putback layup for Isaiah Stewart. When you're aggressive, you make life easier, not just for yourself, but for your teammates, and Josh has done that. As long as Josh remains 100% healthy, and as long as he remains as aggressive as he's been for the majority of this year outside the stretch when he was coming back from an injury, he's going to continue to have this breakout season for the Pistons. And I'm absolutely here for it, and I'm happy that I'm getting to watch it happen. But that's all I've got for you guys today. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think of Josh Jackson's season, what you guys have seen from him thus far. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me as well. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We are almost there. I need all of your guys' help. So if you haven't already, again, please hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.